three, two, one. Hey everyone, welcome back to Noodling Around. Today I'm going to be talking about UVI's new Drone FX. And uh, I'm going to try something a little different today. Usually with Noodling Around I just roll through presets. It's not going to be the case today, alright? Gosh darn it. What we're going to do today is I've whipped up a small, very small, modest uh, track that I'm going to place drone into and then manipulate uh, drone while I keep the uh, you know the underlying track going. We're going to try and match drone with this sort of audio cue that's just going to be playing in the background. So here's what we're working with today. Um, here's the traditional uh, noodling around setup. I'm going to actually try something completely different today, but for now, let me just show you the track I'm doing. Um, this is drone, by the way. So I've just got it kind of layered in there, right? And um, let's give you a sense. Uh, I'm using UVI World Suite for the Salmacodeons and the Gamelands and the kick drums, but the bass is Tal Uno X. I just had to stick with something simple. Um, so here's the track I'm working with. Here's Drone. And now we're gonna just hammer in on Drone by itself, Drone FX. Um, so here's the first patch I was messing with. Churchy Synth! Alright, so I'm just gonna plug away on this preset. Feedback's kind of an interesting uh, feature here. It kind of makes, thing have, makes things have this uh, shepherd tone approach. You know, like the uh, Dunkirk soundtrack. Let's mess with that right now. First time it's ever sounded like that for me. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, also, clearly, a big feature of this is the XY pad here. And this is great for um, scoring film, because then as you're watching the film, you can sort of shift between the, uh, the sounds you want. Um, they've also got this chaos uh, thing here, which can be fiddled with. Um, you can get that thing going crazy or real slow. And that's nice, it just keeps things evolving a bit, which is handy. Uh, so obviously, most of UVI stuff is built this way. Everyone, sorry, cutting room floor edition here. Uh, turns out... When you're using OBS to record something, it won't show you all of these little things. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to show them to you now so you can see what I was clicking on in the video because during the video you can't, you can't actually see any of these. Which is kind of helpful if you're uh, wondering if you should buy this because uh, it shows you what the presets are. So here's the uh, list of presets that it comes with. You get a good sense of those here. Boom. 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 Um, it also has MPE devices which are weird uh, MIDI controllers that are like made of rubber and you like manipulate them weirdly. I don't know, they're new things. They cost like a lot of money. I don't have one and so I can't see what these uh, presets sound like but I'm sure they're delightful. So here's the presets. You get a bunch of uh, presets but uh, like most UVI things, it comes with two sound sources and then you kind of blend them together. So in this instance, uh, here's all the sound sources you get to work with. This is what comes with the package. Uh, boom. So it's like, oh, do you like auto harps? Got a ton of auto harps. Bode metal, ton of bode metal. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, you know, all these are like very light variations, but they're really easy to like sort of flip between and flip through. Digital, frozen time, damn. Cats me on. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys these now because uh, throughout the rest of this video, you'll see me clicking on the GUI and you won't see those windows, and it'll be weird and confusing, but don't be scared. Alright, back to the video. Uh, I like this harmonics thing here. Because it just sort of adds a note over top of uh, whatever you've got going. And you can even just do it live with the mouse, I've noticed. It's kind of easy. You know, 
why don't I actually just show you guys what it sounds like on its own first. Alright, what's going on here? That's great preset. A tonal cycle. Mental note. Let's hear that in the context of the overall track. Now, like I said, this is a little too loud, right? So what if I turn it down just to scouch? Maddie Likey, that's a tonal cycle. That's a granularity patch. I'm pretty, pretty hot on that one. Dark world. So you can do some stuff with the uh, pitch bend mod wheel on the gate. That's not bad. Okay, check this out with the the track as a whole. This is with my little effects chain on it. A little more bass, a little EQ. Uh, in fact, what am I working with here? Just cutting the low end out. And uh, just a scotch of limiting so it doesn't clip on me. So this is um, a low rumble patch. Anxiousness. And I've turned off my effects chain for now. 
Let's hear what this is all about. Let's hear some more of these evolving synths. I got a lot of mileage out of these in my track. Oh, ooh la la. Can't sit low, I keep going off the camera. Scoot over here. There we go. That's better. Hey everyone, that's better. That's lovely. Let's crank up the swarm. Slouching, slouching while I'm doing this. Gotta sit tall. That's a good patch, I like that. Let's hear some swarm patches. Turn my effects chain back on. Remember, little bass, little EQ. I like that. Let's try that with the track. With the rest of the track. use it a lot quieter like this something like that
Welcome to Frozen Time. One of the things here is that on the FX page you can change the order of these harmonics and distortion. I find that you know, if you put the distortion ahead of the harmonics, give that a drive. This is a good one. This will work pretty good. I think it had a bunch of feedback loaded into it from before. Menacing. That was the video, noodling around, UVI, Drone X, or Drone FX. Tried something a little different in this episode, I don't know if it'll work. Uh, leave a comment if you liked it or didn't like it, I don't know, I don't know what to do. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next exciting video of noodling around. Check out my Bandcamp for releases, check out my Spotify for releases, but check out all the things, my releases are on the thing. That's it. I don't know how to end this video. Goodbye everyone. <laughs>